Hi everyone, in this training session, I'd like to talk about how to use CP2E built-in Fins Ethernet to implement the Ethernet communications and sharing data in between multiple CP2E PLCs. So let's get started. Two Ethernet built-in ports. Two ports are sharing the same IP address, so it is no need extra Ethernet switch to connect to external devices like an HMI or programming laptop etc. Up to three serial communications ports. Four axis positioning with linear interpolation. Battery only needed if RDC being used ladder and parameters are saved in flash memory. Added function blocks and structured text. Including PID and Modbus RTU function block. Function block library is being built. Ambient temperature is minus 20 to 60 degree operating range. CP2E comes with two built-in Ethernet ports, they are in the same network, using the same IP address, so it is no need to use Ethernet switch, just take the advantages of CP2E, easily connect to external HMI or PLCs. Along with CP2E new micro, PLC release, Omron also released some new design function blocks, such as Ethernet fins communications. Modbus RTU. Linear motion control. PID loop control. In this training session, we would like to talk about how to easily use function block to implement Ethernet fins communications in between PLCs. There is a pair of function block that are designed for sharing data in between CP2E PLCs. One is sent, obviously, just sending data from one PLC to the other. The same is receive function block, just receiving data from the other PLC to the local PLC. You can either use send or receive function block to implement the communications. I will attach these two function blocks, example program, and related documents for your further study. Please be aware the send and receive function blocks are only designed for CP2E N type CPUs, E type, and S type don't have Ethernet port, so it is impossible to use these function blocks. The function blocks are designed for data exchange CP2E N type CPU units. No complicated programming is required, maximum one CP2E can be communicated to another three CP2E CPUs because FINS protocol in micro PLC has up to three devices limitation by using TCP protocol, please be aware of it. It is called polling unit link method, like example shown, you can easily use function block to implement the data exchange between PLCs. Setup procedures are quite simple, just following up three steps, you can easily make it work. For wiring, just simple utilize daisy chain link PLC one by one via inbuilt Ethernet ports. It is necessary to change the PLC setting like shown. Change counting time to 2 seconds. This step is important, it is necessary to set up node address the same as IP address last digit number. As you might have known, Omron Fins protocol is based on network number, node number, unit number, three numbers to locate the device on the network. So this step is to set up the Fins node address. Adding on function block is pretty easy, you can either copy and paste from my example program, or just import the function blocks from individual file. Layout the function block is very straightforward, you just copy and paste to your program, or import the function block from somewhere else, then fill in all of the parameters. Like trigger bit, node address, first word of destination words, number of sent words etc. Orman has made the networking much easier than before, it is no need to utilize CX integrator to set up network number, this function only requires to set up FINS network address is ok, no need to set up the network number.
Thanks for watching my videos. If you want to receive more useful training videos, please subscribe to my channel.